Hey guys, this is Manak, your Swill Bro, and today I'll design a foundation of the building in safe. So obviously you need a previously modeled, uh, fully modeled uh, thing in ETABS, and then you can export it to safe. Okay, uh, so uh, you know just uh, having uh, made the model to export it, simply go to File, Export, and you have the option of uh, here a story as safe. So which story you need to export, you need to know that. So you have to export the foundation level or the base story okay so i've selected the base and then i'm just going to export and then export story as save file so now if you are designing foundation so you have to export the loads a bit so this you have to select and obviously the base of the foundation level you have to select and select load cases and select load combination okay so select load cases and dead live okay dead live other dead seismic load and response spectrum load will not select so click click on okay okay so once you do that and then you click on okay so this will be you will uh, be asked to save the file in a particular location so you can uh, save that in this uh, location so i'll just name it this as a save one okay and I'll also copy this location saved so the file has been saved now you can go to save and file and click on import save file then we can insert the save file and it will open so you can see that it has opened now let's we'll save this file as a safe footing okay so this file has been saved now we'll go to set display options so you can see points are invisible you untick them and the points will be visible so you can find the points are visible now so now uh, we can define the materials so we'll go to define and define the material so same materials will be defined like we had defined in the case of etabs so we'll just modify this so this is a tendon don't need to define this this one modify and this is the rebar so i'm just going to change this fe uh, 550 and uh, then unit weight per volume and elasticity 2 into 10 to the power 5 this is okay and it is uh, uh, 550 this to 600 and then click on okay and then uh, this one modify this is concrete so we'll just do this in m30 or plus 2 is m25 and then uh, weight per unit volume this is the formula is 5000 root over fck 5000 into root over 25 it comes as 25 uh, you know uh, triple zero so we can use that uh, formula okay so do this 25 and then click on so next we are going to define slab properties so go to define and go to slab properties here and i'll just modify this so this is slab one uh, and just change the name slab uh, footing you can do mount multiple types of footing uh, so let's uh, add footing uh, first type so obviously this m25 is selected and slab and depth of the footing let's go by 350 mm for you know all the footings here and we'll uncheck this thick plate option and then click on ok so this slab has been added and then we'll go to define and uh, in this uh, part so then we go to define and go to define and define the column properties so this column properties and modify the properties of this column you can see m25 column and just see the size of the column from uh, you know uh, the you can see uh, from this particular view so you can see here define and uh, material properties and you go here section properties frame sections and you can see uh, the column here 400 to 400 we have provided so we also provide here columns of 400 into 400 column 400 cross 400 and this has been done include automatic this is keep it by default and then click on ok and then we are going to 
provide the soil subgrade properties okay so in the soil subgrade properties soil one we'll just modify this so this with subgrade modulus also will go as per soil test report this is subgrade modulus is sbc of soil by allowable settlement and allowable settlement in the case of isolated footing is 25 mm so sbc if you take as 125 kN per uh, m, uh, meter and allowable settlement is 0 0.025 meter then it will be 5000 so we will take as 5000 this so the simple formula sbc by allowable settlement and for pile and wrapped it is 50 mm and for normal for footings it is 25 mm so this is good and you just click on ok here and and then again click on ok so soil type has been defined and then after soil type has been defined now let's add two types of load combinations so we'll go to define and uh, define a load combination okay and then in the load combination uh, we'll add add new combo and dead and live will go with factor of one okay and this i'll name this as uh, sizing uh, footing sizing because this is unfactored load combination we know that in soil test report we take the factor of safety of 2.5 so that's why for designing footings then this uh, sector of one is enough so i'll just for the checking just this footing sizing load combination and another load combination uh, we'll add okay this will be ultimate ultimate load combination this is required for some checks such as we want to do uh, one or two a shear checks and etc so you want this uh, so this uh, load name uh, we'll just go here dead and live but this will be ultimate okay so 1.5 factor of safety will be there 1.5 and this will be the ultimate so ultimate is there and click on okay so these two combinations we have added and now let's define our uh, footings so define uh, foot defining our footings you can see there are various options here quick draw areas around points just click this and uh, this is the option here so type of object rectangular slab x dimension and y dimension is there and main thing is the property here property which we have already defined slab footing right so i'm going to take a size of 1.8 uh, meters 1.8 meters 1.8 this also 1.8 meters and click on yes so this is the grid point one and like this you can uh, select the grid points here okay one by one so just click here so if you have a um, different structure you see all the points which have a column will have a footing below so just click and add the footing cell so you can take different sizes but now i'm just taking a single size so after this i'll just uh, close this so footing size has been added and then uh, here again then we have the option of this draw columns just click on this draw column option and then you have the property here so in this property you have this column size 400 to 400 already defined height below meter and height above meter so height below this is actually the height of the foundation so i'll just take this as 1.5 meter okay and uh, then we'll just uh, if you if you just do like this then it uh, it will also work just all the center points it will select for the columns so this column has been uh, defined here and you can see this has been defined so now we just go to select and go to select by uh, you know object type select by properties and uh, uh, select slab properties slab footing and click on ok so all this slab has been uh, selected go to assign and assign go to support data go to soil properties and soil one which we have defined just assign this the so soil will be defined so you can go to run here and you have this run analysis and automatic slab mesh options so automatic slab of a mesh options use rectangular mesh and rectangular mesh possible approximate mesh size is test if you the more mesh size you the lesser mesh size you give the more accurate the results will be as per the finite element analysis but the more time it will take so let's just go with 0.25 meter okay okay 0.25 meter and then click on okay 
and uh, then you go to run and advanced step fire options make this as GUI process okay and then click on ok and then you have this uh, option of you know run analysis just to click on run analysis and design here and you can also check the design preferences before that go to design and design preferences and just change the design preference here uh, is 456 1.5 1.5 uh, slab you know with cover i just do this as 25 mm prefer bar size is obviously is for the footing 10 mm and inner layer bar, bar size pre-tensioning post tensioning so non pre stressed we are using so this is okay cover of uh, non pre stressed cover for top cover for bottom this is slabs uh, minimum cover beams and minimum cover slabs so beams and this uh, don't need now okay for slabs we've already given and then click on ok and then also again you go to design and design combos and uh, you can select the uh, you know just the design combos here strength ultimate strength initial so all the design compose we can select here so let's just go for the footing sizing here now and uh, only the basic load combination that is the unfactor load combination with a factor of uh, safety of uh, one okay factor of one and then just click on ok so then you can just go to run and run analysis and design and uh, let's uh, see the results so we have the results here you can see the displacement chart here so this is the different displacement chart the maximum uh, you know displacement is shown in pink and the uh, minimum is you know your blue so you can see the you know this maximum uh, you know displacement is around this footing which is you know around one uh, you know point one two two uh, mm so it is around uh, you know you know point one two two mm here this uh, maximum displacement which you are finding here so uh, this is it and you can see the displacement wherever you hover over you will see the displacement materials has been defined here so then obviously we can do other checks here you have the option of show deformed shape okay so show deformed shape and uh, you can select the load combinations uh, which are available here load combination footing sizing i'll select and which is the you know basic load combination scaling automatic and then click on apply so this is the you know uh, you know deformed shape for the basic load combinations you can see here uh, this is the displacement and if you want to see the other you know for the ultimate one you can also apply and you can also check uh, you can see the uh, <coughs> deformed shape or the displacements for the ultimate load combination also okay so we're going to close this and the uh, next thing which we can check is you know show the reaction forces and just click on ok and uh, again for the load combination of footing sizing we are just going to see here so fz mx and my and you can see the uh, tabulated version here of fx mx and mz which is available for the footing sizing load combination you can see this for the different uh, you know load combination also okay and then you have this option of slow show slab stresses so show slab stresses and uh, this again we are selecting for this and display option display contours on deformed shapes scaling automatic and uh, then we are going to select you know uh, the components here so these are the force components and these are the moment components and uh, such just uh, let's click on apply and see the first force component so again you can see the force components here so again you can just select the other parts and other moments and forces in one direction due to two and some similar force so you can view that so this uh, you can do for the checking there are also other checks as well we'll go into detail later so another check which we can do is of you know punching shear design you can just have this icon show punching shear design click on ok and this value should be less than 1 and then you are good so all of our values are less than 1 so it can be closer so it can means you can uh, check and reduce the size of the footing and check or the depth of the footing and check whether these footings are passed or not so you can do that and then we need to draw the design strips so go to draw and click on uh, you know you have the various options here 
so and then we go to draw and go to draw design strips and we know the size of our footing is uh, you know you can select uh, the various options here size of our footing is 1.8 meter so you have the two options column strip and middle strip so i'll just go 1.8 meter here and uh, uh, this is the size of the footing and uh, simply click here click here and and right click to just pull the function so a we are giving horizontal and then right click left click left click right click left click left click right click like this you can do right left left right left left right then we go design strip b and this time we go horizontal so left left right like this we do So this is done here and then we can close this then you can go to detailing and uh, you can just uh, go to detailing preferences and if you have the uh, you want to change the preferences you can change the uh, preferences here okay and uh, after you do that you just go to uh, design sorry run uh, run analysis and design and before that you can also select uh, and define the load combination so you can go to define and uh, define load combinations here uh, you can see there are two different co combinations already added you can just add define this uh, combinations here long term initial let's add everything and then click on ok so after having done that just uh, simply go to run and click on run analysis and design once again so as you can see the design has been done and you can see the uh, it's uh, ongoing so uh, it has been done and you can see it also shows the animation also okay so this is the deformation and but we want to see the reinforcement uh, right now so for seeing the reinforcement just click on display and, uh, and display uh, here you have the option of show slab design just click on that and uh, here we can just choose the bar suppose show top bar and uh, uh, show bottom bar both if you can choose you can choose just uh, give the uh, size of the bar we want to keep this as 10 and layer a layer b both we want to turn on and click on apply and you can see uh, uh, the both uh, the bar option so just let's look at you know, one particular bar here so here at the top you know two bars of we have uh, in this phase we have you know 10 mm bars 10 numbers and here 6 bar of 10 mm, uh, 10 mm bars at the top and 5 number of 10 mm bars at the bottom so like this you can see the then it varies so maximum one uh, we have to take uh, for suppose here along the you have 1 bar 5 bar 10 bar 10 bar along the top I am seeing so at the top we have to write 10 bar and along the bottom 5 5 7 8 9 10 so along the bottom 10 bars you have to provide along this direction so like this similarly you can see uh, along this direction also you can find the bars also okay so top there is the non is showing but minimum number of bars will provide so 10 number of bars here along the port direction you have to provide along the bottom so like this you can see the reinforcement here if you change the bar it will also show the uh, that also you can just uh, close this okay and uh, here uh, you can also uh, click on show detailing or simply you can just uh, uh, just go to 
run and uh, run detailing also you can just click on that and then click on synchronize uh, detailing and now uh, update drawings or run, run new drawings will just click into that run new drawings and the detailing sheet will be generated here as you can see this is the framing plan and uh, just you can open here and it's a drawing list so this is the drawing list cover sheet uh, general notes seal slab framing plan rebar plan top bar bottom bar slab section so just see that just see so the general note here what is the rebar types here in this is you can use for the bvs the rebar types are there cut element rules by default the cut element rules are there column top bars bottom bars and slab views you can see this is the framing plan this is the rebar schedule is uh, you have to customize that but let's see the individual rebar views let's see what are the things which you have so rebar plan which you are having here you can see this is the uh, rebar plan showing 10 mm bars you know which you are using here spacing is also provided here so this is the rebar plan which is available so and you can take the print out of it just uh, at the pdf format as well as any other format you can just print take a print out of it so uh, top rebar plan you can find it here okay rebar plan all bars so this is section also you can find reinforcement profile layer a and layer b and here we have drawing sheets also same things are there so here you can find all the uh, drawings also so this is the way you can design the footings in safe from etap so if you like the video definitely drop a like and if you have any uh, questions or any queries make sure you comment below thank you bye bye